Hey everybody, I hope you're doing well. I am going to do a balloon smash. I did another one and I really kind of liked the way the patterns looked, so I wanted to try it again. I am using all deco art, two ounce bottles of craft paint, and they are mixed one to one with Floetrol, latex based, no water added, you don't need it. So I've got dioxazine purple, magenta with a little purple, and then magenta with some white added to it to make it a lighter magenta. True red, orange flame, cadmium yellow. And I've got a base coat of white. If you have bubbles, you can pop them with a torch. You can even blow on them and the bubbles will go away. So I think I'm going to do five petals. And if you drip, just lift it out with a clean finger. Some of it's not going to make any difference because you're going to have paint there anyway. I do have silicone in these uh, bottles. I usually use a drop per ounce of paint mixture. So if there's, say, six ounces of paint mixture in the bottle, there's going to be six ounces of silicone added. So I'm kind of going in a rainbow order. So the purples, the violets, the hot, the pinky color, the red, and a burst of orange. And then yellow. So what I'm going to do is lay me a napkin off here to the side to wipe off on. I'm going to smash out and pull inwards. And then it's so beautiful on the balloon. So I have just some regular paper here that I'm going to put off to the side. You can kind of see it off the edge of the camera. And I'll stamp off there, which makes a beautiful print. So again, I'm going to push down, out, and come back inwards and lift out. So if it's easier to do it in a certain direction, then just turn your canvas to where it's more comfortable for you to work towards you. Smash and then roll inward. So the paint is kind of thin right here. I'm just going to kind of tap it with my finger to move it around a bit. I dropped something, some little bit of debris of something that was dried right there. So it's got some bleed through under the white. I'm going to try the torch first. that kind of brings out the cells. I think what I'm going to do is take my palette knife, lift out that center, and 
And for the center, I just want to clean it up a little bit. So I'm going to just go in, I think, with red dots. So I'm just going to go on around an even pattern. And they're kind of bleeding into each other because the paint is not super thick in these bottles. It's just very, it's still very fluid. Even though I may have this paint in these bottles for months, it stays really typically very fluid. It does not thicken up inside these bottles. That's what I love about these squeeze bottles. They have screw-on lids. They're nice and airtight. So I've got red and I want to do a drop of orange on top of the red dot. So if you want your colors to fan out a little bit, you can. You can move it with the straw by blowing. And I'm also going to do, then do a yellow dot on the orange, and it's going to be even smaller. But I want that contrast. So I think I will do a little something on the edges. I think I'm going to try one here on this corner, and if I don't like it, I can always take it off. So I'm going to do the deep green, the fiesta green, and the sour apple. Oops, that shot out too much paint, but anyway. So I'm going to push in and then pull out. So I do want a, a more of that light sour apple green. I want that contrast. That one pulled a little bit of the petal. So I can kind of go in and separate it a little bit with my fingers. I do want a little bit of separation. Whenever the flower. So I'm just going to kind of tap with my fingers. So just a floral, just for fun. The nice part about this kind of painting <clears throat> is you don't you don't waste a lot of extra paint like you do with standard pours because you're controlling the amount of paint on you, you put on your canvas with your swipes and stamps or whatever, it uses less paint. So I think it's more efficient use of your paint when you do swiping, smashing, and you're not pouring off a bunch of extra paint. So I hope you enjoyed it if you did. Oh, and let me show you the... This was the leftovers from the balloons stamped onto paper. But how gorgeous is that? So I'll let it dry and it can be used with mixed media, collage, or anything that I want to use it for. So it's just really beautiful. So I hope you enjoyed it and if you did please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Check out the bell in the bottom right. If you're a subscriber, if you click on the bell you'll get notifications when I post new videos. Check out all the links below the video. I've got an online tutorial platform where I'm teaching you how to paint with acrylics like fish and flowers and different things like that. There's a Patreon and a PayPal link and an Amazon recommendations link and my website and my Facebook group. So go check out all the links below the video and I will see you on the next one. Thank you. Bye bye.